Hi everyone, we're back for our last lesson of week three. Um, so I don't know why it says lesson one. It's lesson three, week three. So before we start, please make sure that you've listened to our story on our YouTube channel. Make sure that you have a pencil and a piece of lime paper ready. Um, if you've got it, make sure you have the story that we've been doing this week. So we're going to finish it off today. Okay, so I am looking for, can I write the ending to the story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff? Our agenda for today, we're going to recap some of the key words. We're going to recap some of the phonic sounds towards the end of the story. Um, we're going to recap tricky red words and write a couple of sentences together. So let's have a look at some of the key words we find in our story. The first one is gobble. Gobble. And gobble means to eat something really, really quickly. And you can see this boy here is eating his cake. I'm wishing I was him right now, eating that cake really quickly. The next one is buttered. Buttered. And we know that's when an animal with some strong horns but straight into another animal or a troll in this case. Our next one, we know this one, goats. And munched means to eat something really loudly. We can see our goat here, he's eating some thistles. He's really munching on those. We've got troll and we've got rushing river. And a rushing river means when it's moving really fast, it's rushing by. So these are our keywords. If you want to take a picture of the screen so you can use them and go back to them when you're writing your story to help you with your spelling, you can do. Let's have a look at our sounds. So these are some of the sounds that are um, it featured in the end of the story. Our first sound is O. Oh. O. Oh. Got a little picture of O oh for goat in the boat down there to remind you. Our next one in our purple box is or, or, got or for shut the door, there's the little aliens. Next one in our orange box is er, uh, er, uh, and it's er uh for a better letter. And this er uh, we often see it comes at the end of the word. Our next one in our green box is I, I, I for fly high. That they're flying their kites really high there. Right, are you ready? Get your finger ready. Fastest finger first. I'm going to say a sound, see if you can point to the screen. So the first one, uh. Did you point to the orange box? Well done if you did. Next one, or. Did you point to the purple box? Fantastic. Next one, oh. Did you point to the blue one? Well done if you did. And the last one, I. Did you point to the green box? Fantastic. Remember, if you want to take a picture so you don't forget these sounds, you can do. Okay, these are some of our tricky red words. Tell your screen, what is a tricky red word? A tricky red word is a word that we just need to know. It's a word that we can't sound out using our phonics. We just need to know how to spell them. So let's recap them. We've got who, who, said, they, well done. Did you hear that one? Went, he, go. I'm going to call out one, see if you can get it with your fastest finger. Um, said. Apple point. Did you get it? Well done. Next one is who? Did you point to the right one? Well done if you did. Next one I'd like you to point to is they. Well done if you got it. Um, he. Got went. Did you point to that one? And the last one, go. 
well done if you got it so you can take a picture of this screen as well if you want um some help with those words or jot them down to remind you because they are some tricky words they're tricky to spell but we just need to know them okay so our story map we're going to need this when we do our ending to our story so i'd advise you now if um if you haven't already take a picture of it so you've got it to help you or you can pause it and go back to it so let's remind ourselves of the story so we've got should we do it together finally big gruff went trip trap trip trap over the old stone bridge the troll said who's that trip trapping over my bridge me big gruff the troll said here i come to gobble you up no said big gruff here i come and he butted the troll straight into the rushing river we even got an exclamation mark there it's very exciting and then he went sorry then big gruff went to join his brothers across the stone bridge and they lived happily ever after crunching and munching on a yummy green grass that horrible that silly old troll was never seen again well done if you remembered it better than i did so i'm hoping now we can have a look quickly at a video let me just see if i can get it up let me just see uh, new share okay so i'm hoping you guys can see the video of me writing so i've wrote my story and that might have taken you a few days to do it because it was a long bit that middle piece like i said so we're going to write the end of the story. So the end, do you remember the start of our sentence? It was, finally, finally, Big Gruff went trip trap over the old stone bridge. What do I need to start my sentence with? Well done if you say capital letter. Now, because it's the end of my story, you might notice as well, I'm also starting on a new line. So let's have a look. Let's see, starting on a new line now because it's the end of my story. So capital letter for finally, capital F. So finally, middle, sorry, finally, big gruff. Now, do you remember what we need when it's the start of their name? Well done if you said capital letter, that's right. For their names, we need a capital letter because they're proper nouns. So can you see I've done my capital B for big and then my capital G for gruff? So finally, big gruff went trip trap and we've got over uh, and that's that uh sound we did over the remember our tall letters our t and our h we need to make sure they're tall the old stone remember um when we did our other video we did the chatty o didn't we st o st o n well done then bridge and what do we need at the end a full stop well done now here i'll just pause um big uh, sorry the troll says who's that trip trapping over my bridge and because it's hit what he's saying it's his speech we need to make sure we use speech marks well done you can see I've opened them up with my 66. So that's what he's saying, isn't he? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And that's one of our tricky red words, who. Who 
Who's that trip trapping? Over my bridge. Now, the sentence, who's that tripping over my bridge, is a question, isn't it? Who's that trip dropping over my bridge? So we need to make sure at the end we put a question mark. Well done. Because it's a question, it's what, they're it's what the troll's asking, isn't it? So put our question mark and then we close our speech because that's the end showing that's the last thing he says, the end of his speech. Now, do you remember our lesson last week? We looked at all the different words, didn't we, for said, all the different verbs like shouted, yelled, growled, whispered. And I've chosen one of those verbs when I've been doing all about the troll. So I've I've chosen shouted, I've changed it a little bit. So you can change it in your story too if you want to put something like yelled or growled. So shouted, shouted, the troll. And we know that ed makes it sound, doesn't it, sometimes at the end of words. Full stop. So who's that trip chopping over my bridge? Now what I want you to do is if you go back to the story map, I'd like you to have a go at writing it out in your best handwriting at the end of your story. So just like I did, have a go, see if you can write out the end of the story. Don't forget to upload your um, stories to Tapestry and don't worry if it takes a couple of days because I know it's a lot of writing. Well done year one, keep working hard. <laughs>